Welcome to Irons United. My name is Stell. I'm going to do a very quick uh, transfer window uh, update for you tonight. Um, given that we've signed seven players, there's been obvious talk about uh, some players potentially going out of the club. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the players that have been spoken about in the last uh, few days. And I'm going to focus on very briefly two players that uh, reportedly we're being linked to. Now, we heard um, the other day that uh, it's quite possible we're not going to be buying any more players. Um, so there's more rumour about either getting freebies or getting um, loan signings. Uh, but the two that are, are knocking around at the moment are Diego Reyes, who's a Mexican international, who's a central defender and apparently has been uh, linked to us um, Currently playing for Porto, he's played for them about 18 times. Uh, previous play, pre previously played for Espanyol around 30 odd times, and before that for Real Sociedad. Um, as I say, he's a Mexican international, uh, but there's talk that uh, he's that there's rumour that he's been talking to quite a number of clubs like uh, Watford, Newcastle, and ourselves. So, um, given that we've already bought two central defenders. Is there any chance that we're going to bring another one in? We don't know. So I, I guess uh, um, if there's a, a decent freebie to be had, maybe he'll be one of them. Um, another player that's been linked to us, and I'll tell you why when I get on to the uh, players potentially going out, is uh, Lemina of uh, Southampton. A Gabon, Gabon international. Uh, he started his career in Marseille. Uh, moved uh, to Juventus uh, where he played uh, around 40 times uh, and he's recently been playing in the last uh, season for Southampton, played about 25 games for them and he's uh, played at international level at Gabon for around, uh, around seven matches. Um, now the reason why uh, we've all of a sudden been rumoured to, to him is because there's talk about Kiyati going uh leaving the club and i guess a lot of people will probably think that that was quite a likely uh scenario given that he hasn't been the Chiati that we've known um for the for the last few few seasons at west ham uh apparently porto were interested for uh, uh, looking at a bit of around 14 million and i think to be quite honest um if Chiati goes um as much as we all did love him, uh, I don't think many people will be too sorry to, to see him go. Uh, another player that uh, has gone out on loan today is Brown, uh, one of our uh, youth players. Uh, he's gone to Oxford, uh, and I think that's going to be quite a good move for him. I know he's been um, rumoured to have... Uh, 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 Pellegrini has looked at him, but he probably thinks he's not quite ready just yet to uh, break into the first team. Um, and one more player that uh, we all have heard about potentially going out is uh, Pedro Obiang. Uh, there's rumour that Sampdoria, the club that we bought him from, um, uh, is looking to, to, to buy him back. Um, as much as I said about uh, maybe not a lot of people will be sad for Kayati to leave, I think a lot of people will be pretty sad to see Obiang leave. Um, he's played nearly 80-odd 80, 80 matches for us uh, since uh, joining us in 2015. Um, it's taken him a bit of time to, to settle in, but I think a lot of people can see real potential in Obiang. Uh, and I think a lot of people were probably predicting that he would be our... Um, if we weren't going to buy a holding midfielder, that he'd probably be the holding midfielder for the club. And uh, Pellegrini has also said that uh, he, doesn't want to, he didn't want to sell him. Uh, and he saw him as a, a, a quite a, um, a, a quite a, a, a lynch a linchpin for our for our team this season. So if the rumours are true, I think uh, um, I would be sad to see him go, and I think a lot of West Ham fans will will be uh, disappointed that he left. So if we're not get if we're having another central defender going. Uh, and we're not buying anyone in, what's going to happen with that central midfield role, that holding midfield role? Well, we we bought two um, central defenders. Uh, we've still got a Bonner, uh, which is on top of uh, Diop and Balbuena that we've bought. A lot of people will say Balbuena's not quite ready for the Premier League. I think we might be a little bit surprised there. Um, 
and uh, of course there's Rice as well. All right, he's in injured at the moment, out for probably three months or maybe longer. Um, but we kind of got things covered there. So there's Rice. And uh, I think I said in another preview uh, a uh, week or two ago that uh, there's a good possibility that uh, Rice is going to be deployed as uh, our holding midfielder. And I think um, him alongside um, uh, Wiltshire uh, could be quite a good match because Rice can do the dirty work to allow Wiltshire to spray the ball about, get that ball uh, up front to the attacking midfielders, to the striker, the second striker, and so on. So I think there's quite a possibility that uh, if Obiang does go, um, Pellegrini is going to be looking at uh, using Rice uh, in that role. I know a lot of people were going to argue, well, what about uh, Mark Noble? Um, I don't think Mark Noble's a holding midfielder, and I don't think many West Ham fans will say that he is. Uh, and in a roundabout sort of way, um, I think Wiltshire is the upgrade on Mark Noble, which is why I wouldn't really think that Noble will start as a holding midfielder for West Ham. I can't see it. I'd be surprised if it happened. If Obiang goes, if Kayati goes, then Rice seems to be the uh, obvious choice. So I guess we'll we'll see what happens. So anyway, subscribe. I know that was short and sweet. Hope you like the microphone because uh, I, I know everyone loved it when Anton bought it. So I hope you can hear me a lot better and uh, subscribe to Irons United and uh, come on your irons.